Hello, hello, I'm Beth the Builder, and this week's Honest Guide Home Repair is sealing a floor. So this is my front porch area, and I did two videos on getting it to the state that it is in now. So you should go check those out because it's pretty impressive. It'll give you some context for how much better this is compared to what it was. Okay, so what I used to get my porch floor to this state was a stain and finish combo. So it was the stain, dark walnut, and then also a polyurethane combo. And I said I would check in and let you know, guys know how it went um, and how it was faring in this space. And I would say like pretty okay. There are some scratches, some places where I don't think it really stood up like super crazy well, but overall, like it's, it's fine. So I think, um, you know, there's a reason why they make those things separately. Um, the stain and finish, like don't get me wrong, is really handy for certain things, but that's why I'm straight up sealing my floor because I think it needs it. And I think it's gonna give it like that super high shine that's gonna make it look way more finished. So I think um, doing those things in separate steps, like staining and then finishing, are, is always gonna be superior just because of just longevity and durability. I think there's no way that something that's trying to do both can really stand up to doing them separately. Um, just like paint and stain and stuff like that, or sealant that says um, it's like one coat polyurethane. You're like, no, it's not. No, no. Oh, paint that wall, just one coat and you're done. No, no, that's never gonna happen. That's what we're doing today. I have a oil-based polyurethane clear semi-gloss interior. So that's what we're gonna use. This is what I'm pretty familiar with, so that's what I went with. And then um, here's a thing. I was just reading the directions about it. It says, not recommended for linoleum, vinyl, or glazed tiles and metal. That makes sense. For wood floors, use Verathane floor finish. So, okay. <laughs> but this is what I'm gonna use. I mean, I bought this specifically for this floor. Maybe I should have done some more research, but like, I'm really not worried about it. I feel like they just want me to buy a different product by the same company, Verathane. So whatever, do whatever you want, okay? The, the risks are on you, but this is what I'm gonna do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut in my edges with a small brush, and then I'll show you what I came up with for applying a crap load of sealant to a much larger space. It's pretty clever, but first, the edges. Okay, so I have my edges all cut in. That was pretty simple. So I would definitely say that sealing your own floors this way is not for the faint of heart because oil-based anything is not super forgiving. So, you know, I would recommend having paint thinner like ready at hand because that is the only thing that is really gonna help you if you get it on anything that you did not want it on as well as having like doing it in a place where you can like have it well ventilated because oil-based products are like super hardcore toxic. <laughs> and I'm gonna wear a mask while I'm doing it as well as gloves, but you know, you do you. I know I have s like swept and vacuumed and mopped in here like three times. And I know that there is going to be hair and some dust on my floor. And that's just the way it goes because I'm not a professional and I don't have professional grade equipment. So that's where if you are a perfectionist and you can't handle that stuff, I guess call a professional. Um, but if you've done a few projects with oil-based things, if you've stained things, if you've redone a, a larger piece of furniture or a large whatever, a deck or something like that, like you're probably gonna be okay. But um, it definitely takes more prep, I would say, than actually doing the thing. So that is where like just diving in isn't gonna get you anywhere. You really wanna like plan it out, make sure that it's not gonna be like a hardcore traffic area because you can't walk in this for at least 24 hours. I can literally see a hair right now over there. I'll pick it up. <laughs> but yeah, um, cleaning the surface before you do anything on it is really your best friend in this because it's gonna go a lot smoother. You're gonna end up having to pick things out less as you go and vacuuming, mopping, sweeping, all the things are your friend. And then trying to keep, you know, 
obviously you don't want your cat walking across this after you've done it or your dog running past and getting their floofy fur everywhere. So prep is your friend with this kind of project. Okay, so when I wanted to refinish my floor, I looked up uh, just DIY floor finishing tips and tricks. And what they said was like professionals will just dump the finish on the floor and they'll use like a rubber skimmer to get it level. But most people don't have the eye or the skill or the experience to get that level. So what was suggested was to get a roller brush. I know it sounds crazy. I'm still kind of skeptical. We'll see how it goes. Um, but get a roller brush. I attached it to my mop handle. It totally worked. Um, most handles like this have a hole and then threads inside for this very purpose. And my mop handle fit on it. So I have, you know, whatever, six feet of reach, which is great. And then I have a paint tray that I'm going to pour my polyurethane into carefully. So those are my two things. I'm not worried about taping any edges because I have trim that is gonna go into my porch. So if I get any on the very, very bottom of the wall, I don't care about that. That's why I'm doing this now and then I'm gonna install the trim. So be on the lookout for a trim video. So that's why I'm not taping anything. I'm just not worried about that. But if you already have trim and all these things installed in your home, you're gonna want to be much more careful. So, alrighty. I feel like we're ready to do the main surface area of this floor. <laughs> I have never done anything like this. I feel really comfortable with stain um, because you can really, really like it's so obvious like where it's going and where it's at on your floor but um, finish or sealant is just a little bit more um, intimidating and that's where just being confident and going for it really comes in handy alrighty so let's do it All right, so my porch floor is all finished and sealed. I am so, so pleased with how it turned out. The roller brush method is by far superior to doing anything with a brush in a big space like this. It would have taken forever. And the roller brush, you can get super um, even pressure on it. It doesn't leave any weird texture in it. I'm, I am so happy that I found that tip because it, it is worth it to save a bunch of time. I ended up prepping longer than actually sealing because it was just so fast and so, so easy. So definitely recommend 
do that thing. Get a roller brush, connect your mop handle, seal away. So the dry time on this was 24 hours and then three days for normal heavy traffic. The first coat I found some hairs in, just, you know, it's inevitable. And um, so I ended up using some super, super fine sandpaper to buff that out. And then when I did my second coat, it obviously covered up any of those areas. I have only found like one place in my second coat that I see a hair, but honestly, it's just, you know, I'm not a professional, so it's, it's bound to happen. And really, if you're looking for it, that's the only way that you're really gonna see it. So yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. I definitely recommend doing it this way. It was way, way easy and not labor intensive at all. I think total, like, it took me like 10 minutes for the first coat and then the second coat was probably the same 10 minutes my one quart got me two coats on here and i have a little bit left in the bottom and i definitely recommend wearing gloves whenever handling the polyurethane because i didn't at one point and it was such a pain in the ass to get off my hands and it just feels like gross and you know toxic it's probably not great for you i'm sure there's warnings on it so be aware otherwise yeah, I mean, I have no complaints about this way of doing it. I'm really, really pleased. It definitely feels more protected, much, much more durable, and, you know, honestly, just easier to clean, too, because it's so, so smooth. And there's no, like, porous open wood, because that is kind of how it felt sometimes, that, like, the wood was kind of just, like, exposed somewhat, even though it, was, it did have that stain and finish on it that was making it somewhat more protected, but I definitely felt when I would end up mopping it and trying to clean it that it just felt like the wood was just kind of exposed and dry. Like that was also something from this porch that I noticed that the wood was really, really dry and it like soaked up the stain really, really, really quickly. I probably should have done this sooner, honestly, but I'm glad that it's all finished and looks as good as it does now. Enjoy my before and afters of what my porch used to look like and now what it looks like. I'm sure it's gonna impress you. And if it doesn't impress you that I did, did this, I sanded this entire floor by hand. That should impress you, okay? And now it looks like this. It's amazing. I'm so pleased with it. Give me a like if you like this awesome DIY. Um, go finish your own floors because it's satisfying as f Check out my Etsy. You can find some new listings on there. Otherwise, you can find all the other places in the description below of where you can follow me and find more about the builder. I have new videos every Friday and thanks for watching.